there's a myth that any man knows how to approach any woman in any situation. <laughs> Wrong. Men are terrified to approach women. Nothing more intimidating than seeing a woman you want to speak to. And she's over there. You're probably flocked by one or two, maybe five of your girlfriends. So a guy has to walk across the room, make that walk. Knowing that the women on, on either side are judging him. Go in and have to say the right thing at the right time to get your attention, to get you to break away from your friends to have a conversation. Oh my God, that is pressure. And then when you say no or thank you or whatever, he has to make the walk of shame. Those are all the things that are going through a man's mind. You want guys to approach you and take that risk? You got to take some of the fear out of it or else you're going to remain unapproachable. So let's start with number one, your body language. Standing around like this. If you look like you're, you have to look approachable. Closed off, face, you know, you're not smiling, uh, you're not, not making eye contact, you're not open, all kind of things send cues. And you not, may not even notice it, a guy is looking at you, but we're looking from across the room and we're looking for subtle cues to say whether or not this woman is approachable, is, is just simply approachable. If you're not approachable, a guy is more likely than not going to say, uh, I'll pass, you know, I'll wait for someone else. Now, you have to really check yourself. Your body language, lady, says a lot. Your facial expressions. You have, is your face like this most of the time? A guy wants to approach a woman, not another man. We don't need, you don't be mean mugging all the time. Yes, smile. Smile, smile, smile. Your facial expression says so much, even when you don't think a guy is looking at you. And if this is, if this starts to grate on your nerves a little bit, it may be because it's true for you. So check it because if you're, if you, if you ask yourself, why, are, where are all the good men? Why aren't guys approaching me? These are just some of the reasons why, from guys I've talked to. Simple as that. Uh, you're underdressed. Yeah, the right man's not approaching you. Are you dressed the way? You, like I said, you attract what you present and project. If you're underdressed, your hair's in a snatch bag or in a ponytail. You got, you know, you don't look like you put on any lipstick or lip gloss. Or anything. I have to tell you, put on a whole face, go beat your face. But I'm like, you have to look feminine and and womanly. A guy is going to associate that with somebody who is who is available. But if you're walking around in sweats or, or, or yoga pants and a t-shirt and a ball cap and some tennis shoes, uh, well, you like, well, maybe that's somebody's wife or their mom because, you know, we associate that with that person's off the market. And also, if you dress that down, we're like, mm, she may be cool to hang out with, but I don't want that as my woman. Real talk, ladies. I know some people don't want to hear it, but that's what we men think, and that's what guys have told me. They don't always tell you because they don't want to run the risk of ticking you off. You come here because you want the truth. Guys, look at that. If you're underdressed, it is a bad sign. No, there's no such thing as being really open. Yes, you can't be truly overdressed, but we're talking glamorously overdressed. But trust me, Air on the side of dressing well instead of dressing down because you're attracting, you're going to get the kind of guys approaching you that you present. How you present your image is what's going to come to you. Also, you're unapproachable. It's easy to do these days. Everybody has a smartphone, a tablet, or whatever. So if you're doing this all the time and you're talking to somebody, you do this. So if you're always at your head down, a guy is like double dutch for men. We're looking for an opening. But if you're always on your smartphone looking down and so forth, and you, and even when you look up, you're distracted. We're like, well, I don't want to bother her. She's kind of busy because he's already got to make that walk and get through all this other stuff. A guy walks over to you and you're busy. The worst thing a guy wants to, even if you're not surrounded by anybody, you're like, ah, great, she's by herself. I can approach her. You got your head down. He has to ask himself, is she doing business? Is that personal? What's going on? Huh? Then he walks over, and if he does walk over, and, excuse me, uh, nobody wants to do that. 
if you're out in public, put the smartphone down. Be present. Be present. That is the best thing I can tell you. Be present. You can check Snapchat, your email, text messages another time. If you're out in public, you have an opportunity to be around other people. Take advantage. But these things are like that gum safety blankets and they're keeping people away. I can't I could go a long time about this one, but ask guys who are not attached to you. And I'll tell you it is nothing more unapproachable than a woman does the seat. First off, if you're not smiling or anything and you're looking down here, you just look like I can't be worried. And if, here's the thing. What that says to a man is you're not gonna be have time for me either. I call you, you're not gonna answer. I try to talk to you, you're going to be too busy. So let me go on over here to somebody else who's more willing and open. Um, you're in the wrong places. Yeah, you're in the wrong places. If you keep getting the wrong kind of guys, you got to check the places you go to. Ask yourself, what do you like to do? Do you like to dance? Well, go where people dance. Do you like to paint? Well, go where people paint. Are you religious? Go to church. But the people who like to do what you do are going to be out doing those things. You want people who are living life. But if you're going to the same places and getting the same kind of guys, you're going to the wrong places. you got to try new things. And this is what's hard for a lot of people. We don't want to get outside of our comfort zone. And ladies in particular, you don't like going places by yourselves. So you need someone to go with you so you don't feel so out of place. So you got to get two or three people to go or at least one, and if they're not willing to go, then you sit in your house or you're just doing the same thing where you're comfortable. You know, insanity's doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Going to the wrong places is one of the biggest. Uh, language. Oh, my goodness. I can tell some stories, but I won't. There's nothing worse as a man who's trying to look for a woman to date. And you see a woman that you find attractive. That's the first thing we look at. Attractive. And you get close and you hear this sailor talk coming out of her mouth. This my big deal. I'm the baddest bee. I bet. I bet. Whoa. No, 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 no. No, heck no. That may be cool with you and your girls. That may be what's on the radio right now. That may be what popular culture is telling you. But let me tell you something. Men do not want to hear vulgarity spewing out of your mouth. Period, point blank, end of sentence. I've already had people come in on the other video. Yeah, it's okay to curse at the right time in the right places. Hit me up in the comment section. I'll tell you what that is. But it's not in public. We don't want a woman is talking like a man. If you have a foul mouth woman, yeah, you may be cool with your boys from high school or college or from around the way. But hey, unless you're going to marry them and have some kids and move on to and live on, that ain't going to cut it. No man wants a foul mouth woman. Just, just, just. First off, if you have a foul mouth. First off, he's gonna think is, wait a minute, she may turn that foul mouth on me. I don't want to deal with that. Number two, she may talk to me like that in public. I don't want to deal with that. She may say let something like that around my family. That's embarrassing. She may say look, something like that around my coworkers. Or, That's hampering my career. She may say look, something like that around my kids. Or people who I need to gain influence with. She does not know how to handle herself in public. If you're doing it in public, that means you're okay with it. If you're okay and he's not, he's not even going to approach you. So ultimately, these things should be pretty much common sense. But we've gotten so lax in our society today to where a lot of these things are just kind of forgotten about. And I see so many women who ask me, what are the rules in dating and this and that? And why aren't guys approaching me? A lot of times you have to look approachable. Ladies, men want to approach you. The art of courting. Are you courtable? Yes, it is a two-way street. You have to look open, approachable, and pleasant in a guy. And the, trust me, the women who do these have guys approaching them. And what I hear more often than not is the women who are not getting approached when they hear these things. I'm not going to be some fake soft such and so forth. Okay, well, peace. I am woman, hear me roar. Roar by yourself. A lioness with no pride. It's not a good thing. Till next time, talk at your life.